Hey up everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be about my tips for round 2 of the 2020 NRL season. Before I get into the video, I'd just like to say that if you're enjoying the content, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have a spare moment or some spare time, go over to my Facebook page which is Rugby League History. I've got a description and a link below. So go and check out my page. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So last week, I got 5 out of 8 for round 1, which I think is alright considering that generally the first couple of rounds of the year are a toss of the coin, so you don't know which way things are going to go. So going into round 2, the opening match of the uh, of the round of round two is going to be North Queensland versus Canterbury Bankstown, which is going to be played at Olympic Park, also known as ANZ Stadium. Now, if you've been living on Mars or living under a rock, you'd probably just find out now that this coronavirus has not only affected the NRL, it's affected the whole world. As a result, all games are going to be played behind closed doors this weekend now for most people that might be a, a shock um, it might be something that you can't comprehend but for someone like me that's I've been to plenty of New South Wales Cup games and plenty of um, lower league matches around Massey Cup and most of those games are played with virtually no fans I found that the players in those matches they create their own atmosphere they create their own hype on the field so I'm pretty sure all of the 16 teams competing this weekend and the players will bring their own um, energy and their own hype into the games so even though that there's not going to be fans there I'm pretty sure the players will get on with things so as I mentioned earlier the opening match of round two is North Queens and the Canterbury uh, Canterbury lost against my club Parramatta last Thursday, eight points to two, whereas North Queensland lost to Brisbane up at the new Queensland Country Bank Stadium. So I think North Queensland is going to win this match. Watching Canterbury last week, n not much has changed. Um, their defence is good as it was last year towards the back end of the year but where I think that the really struggle is getting points when I when I looked at their team last week and when they were against us I never really felt like they threatened us I just I knew as once once we would get one or two tries that they, they wouldn't have an answer in attack in defense they were sound in attack I think I'm going to ask myself this question for the next couple of weeks. Where's the points going to come for Canterbury? With North Queensland getting points, that's the, that's no bother. I'm pretty sure North Queensland, when it comes to attack, they've got plenty of options. Last week, it was mainly their defence that let them down. I was really surprised that they lost that match, considering that was the opening of the stadium. That's the reason why I picked North Queensland. But this week, I'm predicting North Queensland to bounce back and account for Canterbury Bankstown. I'm not going to get in the margins. I'm just predicting them to win. Um, Canterbury, once again, will be competitive, but I just think that they lack attack, they lack spark. So I'm going to go with North Queensland. The next, the next match is on Friday night. It's the first game on the, on the Friday night schedule, which sees... St George against Penrith at Cogra Oval. Now, even if there were fans allowed to attend this game, it would be a very small crowd because if you're familiar with the area, um, getting to that game, especially at that time slot, would be very, very difficult. So St George last week lost against West Tigers and Penrith pro uh, provided the upset of the rounds beaten Eastern Suburbs. Um, I watched the, the, the St George highlights last week and they could have won that game against West Tigers. I think they bombed about two or three tries, two clear tries that I counted. Nick from Australia said that they bombed about eight. I'm not too sure about that. 
but they certainly bombed too. Penrith, um, I thought that they played really well. Um, the match against Eastern Suburbs last week, I think it was just a case of Penrith wanted to win that match more. You could see that there was a lot more intent and a lot more desire from their players to win rather than Eastern Suburbs. I think with this match, it's, it's a very hard one to tip because... Historically, both clubs have been quite inconsistent over the last couple of years. But I think going into this match, I'm going to pick Penrith to beat St George. I think uh, Penrith looked good last week. And maybe for once, they can string two wins together or be consistent. So I'm going to go with Penrith to beat St George. And the Friday night, the main game, gives us Brisbane against South Sydney so Brisbane as I mentioned earlier had that win up at North Queensland South beat Cronulla although it wasn't that convincing if Cronulla would have thrown that pass just a little bit backwards from Conor Tracy South would have lost um, their second half performance was shite they went completely off the boil uh, they let Cronulla back into the match I'm pretty sure Wayne Bennett would be fuming about that. Whereas with Brisbane, I thought for large parts of that match, they were they looked quite good. They looked good with Brodie Croft in the side. Um, I think if South go into this match against Brisbane playing the same way that they did last week against Cronulla, they're going to lose. So with Brisbane being at home, even though there's no fans... I'm predicting Brisbane to win this match. I don't think it's going to be comfortably. But I think Brisbane are looking good from what I've seen in round one. And I, I think that they're going to win again. So, Super Saturday. The first game gives us New Zealand versus Canberra. Now, New Zealand, it's only round two. But so far, they've had the season from hell. They had a shite Auckland Nines tournament. They were poor in the trials. I know that those matches you shouldn't really look in look into it that much. Their first match against Newcastle, awful, uh, drab, horrible. You could describe Auckland's perform uh, performance many many ways. Um, from what I saw, they looked disinterested, shirt grabbing. They just looked completely off the boil um, whereas Canberra Canberra against Gold Coast Canberra you can see that they, they've got that fire, that desire the intent to go one better than last year I think um, going into the first match against the Gold Coast they could have been complacent but they went into the match with a lot of intent and they got the result with New Zealand as I said it's been the week from L, the month from L, so far. Um, they're still stuck in Australia. The match was supposed to be played at Eden Park, but it's been relocated to the Gold Coast, so it's neutral territory for both clubs. But I just see uh, Canberra winning this match and winning quite comfortably. I think Canberra's got a lot of class across the, pa uh, across the park. Um, they're playing well, they look confident. New Zealand. If they're going to win this game, they're going to have to pull Summit out of their ass. Or they're going to have to do Summit special. But I've got Canberra to win this game and win it comfortably. The second match on Super Saturday gives us the Sydney Roosters, a.k.a. Eastern Suburbs, as I call them, against Manly Warringah. Now, this game was scheduled to be played at the Central Coast Stadium. It's been... Uh, uh, reorganised to be played at Leichhardt Oval so it's a neutral venue for both teams um, Eastern Suburbs lost against Penrith last week the, the, their first half was quite good second half I think they come out expecting the win expecting for plays to happen they become complacent and they lost the match and that just goes to show that that's the, the kind of competition that the NRL is if you don't put in for 80 minutes, you're going to lose. You have to you have to put in for that 80 minutes. And with Manly, they come up against 
Melbourne. Um, Melbourne never really looked troubled by Manly, but in seeing that, I've picked Melbourne to win the minor premiership this year. So, um, with Manly going in this game, they they've got a big opportunity to get their first win of the year against Eastern Suburbs. I'm pretty sure with East that uh, Trent Robinson he would have been absolutely fuming with the players after after that second half. So I'm expecting a high tempo match from both sides despite no fans being in the ground. Um, I'm going to go for Eastern Suburbs to win this match. And once again, I think it's going to be a close game, but I think Eastern Suburbs just have a bit more class than Manly. And I'm predicting them to get their first win of the year at Leichhardt Oval. And our last game on Super Saturday gives us Cronulla against Melbourne. So this game is going to be played at Cogra Oval, which is Cronulla's home ground for two years, while Shark Park's being redeveloped and the Leaf Club's being changed over. So Cronulla will feel a bit dirty. They'll feel a bit hate from last week. The fact that they had South Sydney on the rack and in that second half they were coming home strong. I reckon given another five minutes, if that game would have gone for 85 minutes, maybe 90 minutes, Cronulla would have won. Um, they should have won. Connor Tracy threw that forward pass, as, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, with Melbourne, they looked quite comfortable last week against Manly. Um, I'm, I'm predicting Melbourne to win this match. I think that they'll do it comfortably. Um, Cronulla will come in and give it all they've got. They'll try hard, but I think Melbourne's just got too much class across the park and they're quite clinical and they've shown yet again that they're going to be a clinical side this year. So I'm going to go for Melbourne to beat Cronulla at Cogra Oval. Now on Sunday, we've got the West Tigers up against Newcastle and this one's going to be played at Leichhardt Oval. So West Tigers beat St George last week. They look quite impressive. Benji Marshall, he's like a, a bottle of wine. He ages gracefully. Um, the Lee Lua Bullers had a good debut. And for Newcastle, um, it's hard to read how good they actually were because they were playing against New Zealand who were utter shite. So despite winning 20 out, they were playing against New Zealand. So we can't really gauge how they would have played if they would have come up against a quality side but they did they did uh, they did the job against New Zealand you, the old scene is you can only play what's in front of you so going into this match um, both sides have been guilty of being inconsistent over the last couple of years uh, this is going to be a really hard one to pick both I'm going to go for West Tigers to win this game I'm predicting them to win in a pretty close match. I mean, it's only round two. So everyone's just finding their feet at the moment. But I think West Tigers would have got a lot of confidence last week after a good win over St. George. And uh, I think Michael Maguire, this is his second year in charge of West Tigers. And he's he inherited a, a Aside from Ivan Cleary, the first year that he took over, this year he's starting to get his own players in and he's starting to mould the, the club and how he wants them to play. So um, I, I predicted West Tigers to miss the finals this year, but um, with Michael Maguire at the helm, I think in the next couple of years that they'll be a good side and I'm predicting them to win on Sunday. And the final match of the round gives us the gold course against my club, Parramatta, up at Cebu Super Stadium or Skill Stadium or whatever you want to call it. So Parramatta last week, um, I've already made me feelings known. I did a video about it, the round one review of Parramatta. You can check that out. The gold course against Canberra, well, the gold course, they look shite. Um, the defence was awful, attack was awful. Um, some of the tries that 
camera score were quite comical, just shit grabbing. Um, not no attempt to even make a tackle. Um, as I've said earlier, I think Justin Holbrook has walked into this club and just gone, what have I got myself into here? Like, because um, he's just come from St. Helens where he's had all that success and now he's come to a basket case of a club with a very poor roster and he's got a big job on his hands. Um, interestingly, with Parramatta and the Gold Coast, um, the Gold Coast has been a bogey team for, for us over the last couple of years. Um, I think with with the Gold Coast, I'm not too sure if the players read the media or or uh, watch watch television or watch anything what that's said about them. But um, it it must be very difficult for that squad of players where everything's just so negative all the time. I think eventually one day the penny's going to drop, and they're just going to say, "Look, fuck it," you know. Everyone's seeing all this shine about us and we're just going to go out there and play. And I think eventually they're going to start stringing some wins together. I don't see it in the in the short term, but I think in the long term. Um, the key for Parramatta for this game is that they have to show up mentally. They have to be ready mentally. If they go into this game being complacent and just think, oh, well, it's the goal coast, they're going to lose. So I think the key for Parramatta is they, they can't be complacent. They have to go into the match um, 100% ready. And most importantly, they have to learn from last week against Canterbury that um, doing these one-out plays, doing these block plays is not going to work. I think Parramatta looked good last week on the rare occasion that they shifted the ball from left to right and got some second fees play. Um, if they can do that against the goal course, I, th I think the goal course won't be able to handle it. So I'm 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 predicting, well on paper and I, on paper you'd think and I'm predicting Parramatta should win the match quite comfortably. They should win the match quite comfortably. So anyway, that's me tips for round two of the NRL twenty twenty season. Uh, I went for 17 minutes. That's a bit too long, in my opinion. I should I should just do a minute for it for each for each game. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like button. And if you're loving the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get an email when I do a new video. So I'll catch us all later. Take care. Tara.